Welcome back. In this video we're going to be taking care of the watercolor background for our Kandinsky light composition. You can see how here I've used um, red and blue to make a wet on wet watercolor wash in the background. This is probably the first time we're dealing with a wet on wet watercolor or even watercolors altogether. So as a little introduction here are some things we need to know. This is a watercolor brush. You always hold your brush like a pencil. Okay. This is a watercolor set. You should have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black. But we're not going to use brown and black today. You should have a little individual water cup for your own water. You should have a large water cup of clean water and one of that's empty for your dirty water. And then you should have a watercolor palette to mix your paints in. What you're going to do for today is you're going to choose two colors out of your set. You're not allowed to use brown or black but you're going to choose two colors that are next to each other. Okay? Can we use red and violet? Mm, yeah, they're kind of next to each other because they're on the end. Can we use violet and green? No, they have blue in between. Can we use green and orange? No, because yellow is in between. So you're going to choose two colors that you can use that are next to each other in the line. Or if you want to look at the color wheel over on the side of the room, two colors that are neighbor colors or next to each other on the color wheel. So to get started, you're going to get a little bit of fresh clean water in your little bitty cup. That's your individual cup. Then you're going to get two of your little uh, mixing pan divots with some nice clean water in them. Notice how I'm gently pulling the water out almost like a spoon and kind of edging the brush onto there so the water goes inside there. Now you've got two little palette divots full. Now what you're going to do is choose your colors. I'm going to choose, how about I say, um, how about red and violet. I like red and violet. And they're next to each other because we're going to pretend that they're on the end. If you look at the color wheel, they're next to each other on the color wheel. So I'm going to take some red. Notice how I take the tip of my brush and swirl it around in that little oval pan. And then I'm going to add it into my watercolor wash there. I'm going to get some more out. Notice how I'm just using the tip, I'm not smashing my brush down in there, just using the tip to get the paint out. Okay, so there's my red. Rinse my brush out. Now I'm going to get some purple. Notice I blotted on my paper towel, make sure it's clean. And I'm going to get some purple and add that into my watercolor pan over here to make a nice wash of it. And then we're going to add those two colors together on our paper. So I'm going to rinse my brush out one more time and I'm going to start with red. Okay, with the red, I'm going to just get make sure my brush is clean, there we go. I'm going to get some red and I'm going to start painting it in here. Notice how I can pull my brush down, I can pull my brush to the left, I can pull my brush to the right, any direction you can pull your brush. You never smash it down, you never push it. You always pull it and hold it nicely like it's a pencil right behind the metal part of the brush. Okay. So I'm going to get some pure red here and I'm going to add it in. Okay. Now I'm going to continue over here. I'm going to paint some red up here. And now I'm going to move to some purple. I'm going to take some purple and paint it in down at the bottom and then blend those two together so you can see how the purple and the red kind of mix together on the paper. Okay, that's what we want. We want the red and the purple or whatever two colors you choose to mix together on the paper. That's called a wet on wet watercolor wash. What's it called? That's right. We want to practice that and learn it because it's a really essential skill in watercolor painting. Okay, and if you want to, you can try to get these colors to kind of even make a shape. Like if I take red and paint it over here and kind of almost pretend I'm painting a circle and making an echo there. I can almost make like a circle all the way around my paper and then I can take that purple on the inside and almost like there's a circle on the inside or a dot on the inside and um, that's gonna almost lead the eye around the composition in its own way. All right. So here's my purple on center, my red on the outside, 
and that's going to really change my picture from just having a white background okay to having a really red and violet composition okay so this is a way to make the background really stand out and have a nice interesting look to our picture so there we go there's our like purpley inside and our red on the outside and this is a nice technique that lots and lots and lots of watercolor artists use all the time it's called a wet on wet watercolor wash so when you're done your picture should look something like this you should have your two colors blending together on the paper you should have your oil pastel standing out nicely and this is a finished composition it has that Kandinsky like feel because it's got the watercolor it's got the um, oil pastel standing out real nicely okay you're gonna take this put it onto the drying rack once it's finished and then you need to clean up your paint brushes should be cleaned out so that when you blot them on your paper towel they come out clean there's no paint left on them so that one's a nice clean brush point it like that and then put it into the container over by the sink so the bristles are pointing up okay take your dirty water put it into your dirty water color cup rinse or wipe out that cup so that it's not dirty okay then it is your responsibility as an artist to clean up your palette take your paper towel swipe it in there as you can see from me doing it it really only takes a second or two like maybe 35 40 seconds to wipe that out and then give it to the person's job it is to return them to the counter okay your watercolor sh set should look like this when you're done as well okay and that concludes our Kandinsky watercolor composition